good everyone it is your favorite tutor your favorite tutor on physics okay still on expansion and liquid i have a question on the board remember in our previous class we discussed about expansion and liquid and then we saw the question on that expansion and liquid all right this is another question okay so let us it is a density bottle weighs 0 0.5 Newton when empty and 1.631 Newton when full at 0 degree Celsius. When full of glycerin at 100 degree Celsius, it weighs it weighs is 1.577 Newton. Determine the cubic expansivity of glycerin if the linear expansivity of the glass is 8.0 times 10 raised to the power of minus 6. Okay. The first thing we do, we bring the parameters out. Let us bring all these quantities from the out from the words from the question a density bottle weighs 0 0.5 Newton when empty okay so I can say weight of empty bottle okay yeah weight of empty bottle is equals to what 0 0.5 Newton Okay. All right. Then and one point six one point six three one Newton when full at zero degree Celsius. So therefore, the weight of bottle weight of bottle plus glycerin that is when full and the liquid content in the bottle is what glycerin weight of bottle plus what glycerin at zero degree Celsius is 1.631 Newton. Okay. All right. When full of glycerin at 100 degree, okay, at 100 degree Celsius, its weight is one point. Put it here. Its weight is what? One point five seven seven Newton. So therefore, weight of bottle. Weight of bottle plus glycerin at 100 degree Celsius is 1.577 Newton. Determine the cubic expansivity of glycerin, which is the word the way cubic expansivity of glycerin Okay, when it's linear, when if the linear expansivity of glass, so we're given linear expansivity of the glass, linear expansivity of glass, which is the containing vessel, is 8.0 times 10 to the power minus 6 per Kelvin. So we are looking for the real expansivity, the real cubical expansivity. Of what glycerin and then we know that the real chemical expansivity is equal to what the apparent chemical expansivity plus what the chemical expansivity of the containing vessel so first of all we we'll get the what the chemical expansivity of the containing vessel but from the question we're giving what Linear expansivity of the containing vessel, which is the glass. 
So therefore, the cubical expansivity of the containing vessel is equal to what? three times what the linear expansivity, which is equal to three times eight times ten raised to the power of what minus six minus six, which is equal to what twenty four times ten raised to minus six per Kelvin. Okay, we got this one. So now let us look for the word apparent chemical expansivity of the liquid. And the liquid content that we have here is what? Glycerin. So the apparent expansivity, chemical expansivity will be equal to what? The weight. The weight of liquid. The weight of of liquid expelled weight of liquid expelled all over weight of liquid remaining remaining times what the temperature so weight of liquid is there, weight of liquid is there. So all right, from what we have here. Let me bring it out. Weight of liquid. Weight of liquid is there. From what we have here. The liquid, which is the gl glycerin, is at what? At 100 degree Celsius, it is what 1.631 Newton. When the temperature increased towards 100 degree, it is now what 1.577 Newton. So you can see that this one is greater than this one. It means that some liquid content, which is the glycerin, has been what expelled out of the containing vessel. So to get the weight of the liquid that was expelled, we subtract this from this. So therefore, it is equal to what? 1.577 minus 1.631. And if we subtract this from this, no, it's going to be what? 1.631 minus 1.577 which is to get the weight of liquid spell which will be equal to what 0 0.054 newton 0 0.054 newton so this is the weight of the liquid spell so weight of liquid is many weight of liquid remaining will be equals to now this is the the liquid remaining this one five point one point five seven seven in the what containing vessel after the temperature has been raised this is the weight of the glycerin in the bottle that is what remaining one point 1.577 this is the weight of the glycerin remain. but this weight right here is the sum of the words the bottle and glycerin so the sum of the bottle and glycerin is equal to this and if you are talking about what apparent apparent does not is about the words is it's all to do with uh, the liquid we leave the words the containing vessel aside it's all about what? The liquid. That is the expansion of the liquid. The bottle uh, aside. So we are going to remove this bottle, the weight of the bottle from it, and then we will get the what? The exact weight of the liquid content in the vessel. So therefore, minus the weight of the bottle. The weight of the bottle from the first statement we have in the question 0 0.5 Newton. 
0.15 newton which is equals to 1.077 newton which is equals to what 1.077 newton so this is the weight of what glycerine remaining or the liquid content remaining and temperature temperature rise is equal to what 100 degree Celsius minus zero degree Celsius, which is equal to 100 degree Celsius. So we have all the what values of the quantities. So we just do what equate it in the words in the equation. Just equate it and then so weight of liquid spell is what 0 0.054. All of our words, weight of liquid remaining, 1.077 times temperature, which is 100. So, if we do this, we are going to have 5.01 times 10 raised to the power minus 4. Kelvin. So this is the what? The apparent expansivity, the apparent critical expansivity of glycerin. Okay. We have the what? The apparent critical expansivity of glycerin. So let us get the what? The real. The real critical expansivity of glycerin is equal to what? The sum of apparent plus sum of apparent and um, containing vessel. So the real is equal to the apparent is what? 5.01 times 10 raised to the power minus 4 plus critical expansivity of the containing vessel is 24 times 10 raised to the power of minus 6. So the real will be equal to 5.25 times 10 raised to the power of minus 4. Okay. So this is the word. Answer to our question. Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of this episode. Thank you and God bless you. I remain your favorite tutor. Please subscribe to the channel. And then you are free to share my videos to friends. To friends out there. Thank you and God bless you.